the industry's definitely changed a lot. Um, so now, as a supermodel, you have to be a brand. You have to be a name. Um, a celebrity because celebrities pretty much dominate uh, magazine covers and campaigns so it's become a lot more competitive than 10 years ago. Marissa Miller knows being another pretty face is no longer enough. The 5 foot 8 bombshell shot to supermodel status with Sports Illustrated covers and a Victoria's Secret Angel contract. Despite a consistent ranking by men's magazines as one of the world's sexiest women, Miller is not interested in building a career geared towards her male admirers. She wants her brand to reflect her own interests and ultimately those of other women. Partnering with companies that I genuinely like. So like when I did my shoe line with Vans, I've been wearing Vans my whole life. So it was a very natural fit. And I think that's when it becomes successful is, is when you're, do, you're not licensing your name for every little thing. And I say no probably 95% of the time to most everything. And I, I wait. I wait until there's something that I'm passionate about. For Miller, that passion comes from partnerships with companies that have traditionally marketed to men, like Becoming Biker Business Harley Davidson's new spokesperson. They've never had a spokesperson in the hundred years of being a company, and so that was a huge honor in itself. It's been such a fun project for me to actually shoot and do you know a beautiful campaign and work with amazing people but also be able to ride and you know hopefully be an inspiration to other women that you kind of break down those stereotypes. The born and raised California girl also loves surfing but most boards were built for men so Miller collaborated with Santa Cruz company Surf Tech for a line of stand-up paddle boards. That was a project I'm very heavily involved in and it has my name on it <laughs> so that was one thing you know walking down the beach with a board that has my name on it didn't think about that part that it was going to be embarrassing. <laughs> Other projects in the works are a long-awaited swimsuit line and an upcoming reality TV show about the military's men and women. Miller also takes time to support breast cancer organization, the Young Survival Coalition. I've been really trying to, um, you know, partner with with some awareness for women who get breast cancer under 40 and just kind of involve them in what I'm doing to try to give back to them and, you know, hopefully have a family somewhere in the middle of all this. <laughs> I have to kind of time it though. <laughs>